Good evening, everyone. I'm Ian Maurice, and welcome to Nine's Wide World of Sports. Tonight, we bring you some highlights from the 1983 World Figure Skating Championships at Helsinki. First up, it's pairs, and then it's the men's in the free program routines. Your commentators are Dick Stackton and John Petkovic. The defending world champions from East Germany, Sabina Betz and Tassel Tierbach, have the lead. Valova and Vasiliev of the Soviet Union are in second place. The Canadian pair of Underhill and Martini are in third. Another Russian pair, Pestova and Leonovich, are in fourth. And the Carruthers, of course, are in fifth place right now. Kitty and Peter Carruthers of the United States, this is their moment. Fifth place coming into the climactic free skating and looking for that medal. Kitty and Peter are going to have to skate a superb performance, Stick. They're a dynamic and vibrant couple. Their skating has a warmth about it that just makes you involved in it. The opening move will set the pace. It's a split triple twist. Beautiful. They're off to a good start. And coming up is the next big test for them, a throw triple sow cow. She will do three revolutions in the air. Watch it. Very nice. It couldn't have been smoother. Setting up for a throw double axle, a very difficult maneuver. Nice takeoff, little trouble on the landing. It may not be too critical. It just depends how the judges view that particular slip. and Peter Carruthers. This is the world championship. And they have their work cut out for them. They were not disappointed with their short program, but they were disappointed with the marks they got. They're trying to climb from fifth place. that unison they talked about earlier, knowing exactly what the other is going to do. And right
right from that footwork into a lateral twist. Their coach's invention. Very nice. Peter Carruthers, bronze medalist last year, trying to climb from fifth, and they know it's not going to be easy. But these kids never let down. That was an excellent performance, Dick. There's no doubt. Another look at that throw double axle. She's in a good position in the air, but the problem comes on the landing when she doesn't get her free leg back in time. Now, nine judges representing different countries will decide on two sets of marks. The first for technical merit, reflecting difficulty and content. Second, for artistic impression, for composition and style. The highest score you can achieve is a six. And, of course, that error will be reflected in the marks for technical merit. And there they are, 5.6s, fairly strong marks. And a bit higher for artistic impression, primarily 5.7s. But the question is, as we see the marks, which are good indeed, will it be enough to carry the Carruthers to a bronze medal once again? We'll be back to find out.